Good morning, guys. It's another glorious morning down here in the Florida Keys, Lower Keys, right here in Big Pine. And this morning, got out here early. The sun is rising as we speak. Tried to get some bait, no success on that. Uh, but now we got plenty of carcasses from over the last few days, and we are going to be targeting tarpon. That's the goal. Yes, uh, third or fourth video in our tarpon in our Keys series. So make sure you check out the other ones. And uh, we got crabs and dead bait and live pinfish too. So uh, we're gonna make, the, make it go over here. Yep. Basically, we got an incoming tide, and we're just gonna chum up the waters and see what we can bring to the boat and hopefully it's a bunch of tarpon and then we hook one and hopefully he stays on the hook and then hopefully after the battle he comes to the boat so there's a whole <laughs> lot of thing factors involved we'll see what happens <laughs> all right guys we've raised uh one tarpon so far i don't yeah. like that darcy's audio on that but a huge tarpon you swam right by the boat yes and uh, just so you know what we're doing we got very close i've got a mullet live mullet out i got a live pilchard out and darcy is ready to throw a live bait, I mean a dead bait, yeah. a hook. A dead bait to uh, sight fish to the, you know, cast, sight cast it to them. Sight fish, that's right. Because again, you get a lot of nurse sharks doing this, and so you don't want to just throw out a dead bait, you're just going to catch nurse sharks all day. And they won't eat those live baits typically. The setups we're using, our new favorite tarpon rod is the Saragosa 8000. Uh, and we just got a nice new star rod from Lower Keys Tackle here in the, on Big Pine, which is a great female run business, check that out. And uh, we use 50-pound braid. And right now we have 40-pound fluorocarbon leader, and uh, which might be a little light, but the tarpon we've seen before that monster has been small in this area, and we're trying to get a bite. We, you know, we had trouble getting bites, but more often we're going to use 50-pound fluoro. A lot of pressure on tarpon in the Keys, particularly May and June. We got two of them, big monsters, absolute monsters. He just turned on the bait going straight back now. He's over here, coming in. Oh, he's about, he might eat this. They're circling right here. Right off the back. They're right here, they're right here. He's right here. He's huge though. He's huge. Okay. All right, just put the dead bait back out. They're comfortable. They're real close. The one with, they're over a hundred. The one's huge. It looks like a, it looks like a shark. I'm not kidding. Oh, big blow up on the back. Big one. I, I, is your bait out there? Which one? Yeah. Like two, like uh, 75 feet away? Probably. There was a huge hole in the water. He just went right over there too. Oh my God. I'm a, I'm a pinfish. This is about to go off. I feel like I need a chunk. Okay. Snapper chunk. Yeah. Chunk of mold or just chunk of fish right here? Either one. Tell me. Give me a snapper chunk real quick. They're coming in real close, and they're, they're picking up stuff on the bottom right here. He just ate it. I think he did. Yeah, he did. I'm up underneath you. It's okay. Don't worry about this. I think he did. Oh, my God. It's the monster. All right. Grab him back. He inhaled that. He's hooked. Want to get down? Yeah, we're going to get down. The battery just died. Okay. Oh, he's going he's gonna to air out. Oh! Aired out! Get that chum in it. Hold on. You're wrapped on me. Get up there. Get up there. Baby, I'm trying. He's gone. No, he's gone. Yep. Hold he on. was running the whole time. It's no one's fault. He's gone. Get set back up. I don't know what we would have done different. My chunk is still on there. Wow. Oh. All he did was run, and I had my rod pointed the right way the whole time. He never just... jumped, or jumped once. He did. Yeah, he did. All right. Got a little tangled up in the line there, but and the fish never settled down and really get into a fighting position, so. All right, still got a bunch of tarpon around. They seem to be liking the snapper baits better, snapper chunks. And. Okay, we just had that one on and he broke the hook off. Again, we were, we were using 40 pound leader like we said before, but there were smaller fish here. Now we're seeing monster fish, so we're gonna up our leaders a little bit. Here he comes. Here he comes. He ate it, he ate it. 
Reel that lump rod up quickly, 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 quickly. Get ready. I'm underneath you. Underneath? I'm underneath you. No, we're, I'm over here. Oh! Okay. We're tight. I don't know. We'll see if that hook gets. What? You're good. Whenever see if that ready. hook gets. What? Whenever you're ready. See if that hooks get buried. All right. We got a tarpon on, guys. All right. Ready. What are you going to do, trolling motor or engine? Yeah, we're going. Okay, start walking to the front. We'll engine or trolling motor? Trolling motor. He's far, far away. Watch it's the okay. school. Did not jump yet. Should I increase the drag now? No, go. Follow, go get up in the front. I'm baby, I'm working on it. Hooked up on a tarpon. Usually you'll lose them within the first few minutes of the fight if you do lose them. But this fit guy might be hooked right. But again, we increased our fluorocarbon leader from 40 to 50. And I just watched this fish turn on my chunk and eat it. This fish is huge. This fish might be like my biggest tarpon ever. I'm not sure, but he got far, far away. And some of these fish I saw today, they're just like seven, eight foot long. I'm not exaggerating. They're down deep in the water system, in the water. But day baiting tarpon is working. We're, well, he hasn't been caught yet, so we can't say what our record is. Right here, oh my God, he's huge, bro. <laughs> That's a 200 pounder. <laughs> That's the biggest one I've ever hooked. He's huge. Did you get that shot? I don't think so, he's off to the side Oh lot. my God. Hopefully you did. Oh my God. I'm always blocking it with my hands. It's like always the like worst spot. He's right down here. Here he comes, he's coming up. There he is, there he is. Right there, baby. What is pretty okay, green. Oh my God! Do you see that fish? <laughs> oh my gosh! That is my biggest tarpon ever, right there. No joke. That thing is huge. He's trying to wear out the fish, keep the rod tip behind him or the line behind his body because he's moving forward like with us, going straight this way, but keeping tension on his head, behind his head as he swims forward. It's just going to slow him down, tire him out quicker. And that's just the key to success when fighting big Sorry. tarpon, big game fish like this. He's doing a circle now. Keep the rod tip low. He might jump. Leader's right there. He's got a real leader through the tip. We got close a couple times, but not yet. Get that leader for me. There so he is, long. there he is, there he is. Oh, dude, that fish <laughs> is huge. That's no joke. That is a trophy. Catch and release tarpon right there. Oh, two inches away from reeling the leader through the tip. Why are you reeling trying to talk about that? Well, it would be official tarpon catch, uh, just like a sailfish tournament. Uh, they do that a lot, catch and release on sailfish, but you reel the leader through and it counts as a official catch. So I'm so close. I got within four inches and then she pulled line out again. Reach that tip down and get it. Can't. <laughs> We're almost 15 minutes into the battle. This might be a long time. I don't know. All right, engine. Let's get up on her. Watch this guy in the boat. All right, let's get that tip. Nice. Nice. Oh, there she is. Woo! Got it. She's nice, landed. Nice, Chisel. She's landed. Lead her through the tip. That was a beautiful breath of air right there. Usually these fish can breathe air. So she just recovered a little bit by getting some air. And she just raised up. Let's reel the leader through again. We're getting close to landing this fish, hopefully. We're about half hour into this battle now. Um, you know, I don't catch that many tarpon, but I have caught quite a few over the years and I'm estimating this fish definitely over 150 pounds. This fish is just huge, absolutely huge. It's thick and fat and she's got a big old old scar on the back side of her 
but uh, we're just kind of like trying to just keep the rod tight here. Every time she comes up and takes some, some air, she gets a little bit more um, energy. Hold on. Woo, that was scary. <laughs> Gotta pay more attention to my fish and not talk like that. I almost lost her under the boat. But this, again, this is official tarpon catch. Our first one in the Florida Keys for 2021. Actually, the whole year. We hooked some fish back home, but never landed them. This is the official catch. And Brian's gonna get his gloves on and lead her this fish. And we're gonna see what happens. They could break off right at the boat. Because again, a 50 pound leader is really, really thin for such a massive fish like this. Especially when you got 150 pounds of fish pulling on the hook. Just making that hole bigger and bigger. But we still got a little bit of current left, so we're gonna go back and see if we can get another one. Maybe Pudding can catch one. But the carcasses work today. Love the snapper. There she is. There she is. There she is. Oh, sick fish. Come here. Come here. Hold this full little, trying to keep her at the boat. All right, stop. All right, we're gonna start putting some more pressure on this fish. We don't want to tie him around until he dies. Fish has been around the boat for the last half hour, between 20, 10 and 30 feet from the boat. So we just can't do this all day long. It's bad for the fish, like Brian said. Just like anything like sailfish, the longer you fight her, oh, she's got her breath. The longer you fight a fish, the more tired they get. And you know, they have that, uh, what is it called, lactic acid? Yeah. Build up in their muscles and stuff. And it's, by the way, guys, we're not eating this fish. You can't <laughs> eat a tarpon, uh, strictly prohibited as well as protected. And uh, yeah, just strictly a sport fish catch and release. Yeah, so we've already caught the fish. If this is a tournament, this would be a legal catch. And so we don't want to kill the fish. And also, you know, these fish get eaten by hammerhead sharks around here a lot. And so, you know, you tire it out. And then you see these little funny videos, not funny, but, you know, viral videos on Facebook and stuff about someone's tarpon getting eaten by a hammerhead. And that's mainly because mainly someone just tired the fish out too much. And of course, we don't stop, want that to happen. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my God. Where is he? I don't know, right by the engine. All right, out. Good job. That was freaking dangerous. Come on, she got more energy on that breath. Yeah, she's so literally you know, these fish get a breath and they get more energy. So she's literally she's real fishing. You have to either taking the fish in, or the fish has to be running, otherwise the fish is resting. So Darcy's got to put the heat to this thing and if we lose them, we lose them, Sizzle. Sorry. That was a great job. You broke, caught a huge tarpon. Broke at the hook. Good. <sighs> Perfect. We don't have a lot of line hanging off them. Yeah. Great job. I was thumbing that spool at the end. Um, Good. As I, you know, like Brian said, we just, you know, want to do the right thing out here. Yeah, we want to be like sportsmen and again, to not kill the fish. It's not the end of the world. I would like to take a picture with it by the side of the boat. Brian might put some other ones in here back on our old boat. We had in the Florida Keys caught some nice fish, but if I can't get a picture, I can't get a picture. It's not the end of the world. You know, at least I got to catch the fish and you guys got to see it. So, yeah. All right, let's go back. Right. All right, so let's go. Yeah, that's the game of fishing. Right. You know, you know Captain, Captain Pat Price said the other day when we were fishing with him that fish is fighting for his life and you're fighting for lunch, you know, or in this particular case, just for fun. So, you know, you don't got to kill them, you know, we don't want to. It's fine. He, got, he went, didn't get away. He caught him. Legal release, IGFA rules. Yeah, caught him. Would again, would have liked the quick picture with the fish, but I don't even think it would have been hold, been able to hold, to hold, hold a giant fish big, like that at the side of the big. boat. I if mean, he, that was a monster. That was my biggest. You see someone holding a, a 200-pound tarpon on the side of the boat? They're dead. That fish is like, you know. They're dead. No, close to dead. That fish is dead. <laughs> oh, did he come off? Something different. It's not a fish or something. We're gonna find out. All right, guys. So. Finished up, oh yeah, it's okay. It's a mangrove. We just finished up over there tarpon fishing and saw that the current was, you can let him go, I think. Eh, let him, keep him. Really? Let him go. <laughs> keep him, let him go, I can't decide. Uh, so yeah, finished with the tarpon fishing. Didn't really see him anymore after the current stopped really flowing. It's just interesting to see like how the bite works. Um, but they really were chewing for like two hours right behind our boat and then it slowed down. 
and they kind of disappeared and it was just nurse shark after nurse shark that I was catching. Caught some before the bite happened, then it was a tarpon bite, then more nurse sharks. So uh, headed over to the famous bridge. If you guys have been watching the videos, you know I've been slaying some fish over here. And the current is moving here, shockingly enough, and just sent out a little gumdrop and caught that little fish. Yeah. So no complaints. I might throw one more back and then we have to get out of here. But either way, great day on the water. Caught and release a tarpon, official catch. Been a while not since. Even a, I'm sorry to interrupt, not even a great day. It's 11 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> We've been killing it. No, I know. We'll come back out <laughs> later. But basically, the tide's about to switch and go slack. So it's all about the tides down here, especially when you're flash fishing and not going offshore. Uh, and the wind has picked up again. Yeah. So we're just going to see what happens in the next couple days. But we still got more adventures coming soon. But that was the biggest tarpon I've caught in two years. So no complaints. No complaints. That was immense. an amazing fish. We had a whole bunch of friends come by and watch. Like our friend Kevin was going out doing his charters, our friend JT was fishing next to us. So, you know, Darcy's yeah. in here with these excellent fishermen locals. And, uh, and, and you know, we're just sharing information, having a great time. And thanks to everybody, you know, around here who helped us out, the bait people and everything else. Yep, bucket list fish, you guys gotta come out here and get a tarpon uh, if you're ever down in Big Pine because it's definitely something you wanna see up close and in person. Um, yeah. But yeah, we want to thank Land Shark for this video, for sponsoring yes. us down here once again. Uh, number one sponsor for years now, and they help us with travel expenses. So thank you so much, Land Shark Logger. And that's about it. Yeah, and if you, can, if you don't know where Land Shark Logger is near you, just Google it. Land Shark Logger yes, near me. Yes, they have me. a location finder. Yeah, they, well, they have a website with a location finder. And again, if you just Google it, you know, you're going to find all we kinds of We can put it down in the link below, so we check will, it out. We will. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I know a lot of you guys are asking about the visors, too. These are not for sale, sorry. These were a custom made bot for us. We've been getting that comment a lot Now lately. they're gonna be really mad. Yeah, they're not publicly so everybody's available been asking. at the moment. Okay. Yeah. yeah, everyone, like on all the platforms. So oh. we apologize. Uh, they're not available for sale, um, but hopefully they'll make something in hopefully the future. Hopefully we'll talk them into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry guys. All right, until next time. Follow your dream and keep, and keep on, on catching. catching. Are you, you're gonna make me go back on this bridge and catch some more fish? Yep. <laughs> Going in the well. I'm dropping one more bait. I know, sure. Slightly bigger. <laughs>